Hey guys, so this is a key guide for the Ultra Medical Storage Key. This is a key on interchange and the key can be found in the pockets and bags of scavs as well as in jackets or drawers. Or you can also buy it from the flea market. Currently the price is between 250 and 300 K, but throughout the wipe, the key is usually one of the more expensive mechanical keys, typically costing upwards of 400 K. So unlike most of the keys, you cannot just go to the location, use the key and open the door. You actually have to go to the power station to turn on the power first before the key will actually work. And so here's a map of interchange and the power station is located here just outside of the idea store. And where you do have to use the key is on the opposite side of the map on the top floor by Ollie. So I'm just here outside the power station and we will have to go inside of it. And where you have to go to turn the power back on is right here. You just have to flip this power switch and then the power will be reinstated back into the mall. So since the power is back on, then I can show you guys where we can use this key so my pmc is outside of ollie and then the texo store is right here and we are going to be going up the escalators that are in between these two stores to go to the top floor as if we are heading towards tech light once you get to the top of this escalator there is a pharmacy store directly to the right and once we go into this area you will see a closed door this is going to be the ultra medical storage room where you can use this key behind the locked door inside of the room then you can have loose medical loot as well as a silver badge random stimulants and apparently there is also a portable defibrillator spot as well as an O-scope and even two possible Letic spawns. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this key is absolutely not worth the money and is probably still being sold so expensively because of how good that it used to be and people are either assuming or hoping that BSG will buff the key back to how good that it used to be. But how it stands right now, in my opinion, this could potentially be the worst key in the game. As you can see in the video, I opened up the room and it was literally empty. And since having this key this wipe, I have probably opened the room 10 times and most of the times it's usually one or two items and typically it's only a pile of meds or medical tools. I think the most expensive thing that I've ever found inside of this room has been an Abdulbo stimulant, but again that could also just be my horrible luck whenever it comes to keyed rooms. Luckily I did find this key so I'm not out any money, but with the key oftentimes costing almost half a million and then also having to perform all the extra steps of turning on the power to even use this key, it's just more of an annoyance than anything to open up the room and then be completely empty. And plus, if you do buy a key for 400k, you don't want to have to use up literally almost all of the 40 uses for it to make your money back. So hopefully you guys found this key guide useful and it did help you to decide whether or not you would like to buy the key, list it, or sell it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. And if you're still here at the end, then I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the twitch and you want to join the discord community then just type exclamation point discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day